welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today we have a really exciting video for you. It is, of course, a scrawler box unboxing. Cannot wait, so excited. This one's chunky, like she's chunky. What's in there? Unless the dogs try to get in there, maybe that's what it is. I can't see any tooth marks though. Um, so very exciting. So we're gonna unbox this. Have a look. Okay. Yeah, it's chunky. Oh, the paper! I think I know what this paper is. Do I know what this paper is? I do know what this paper is. I'm so excited, guys. My prayers have been answered. Yes. Okay, I'm excited. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I feel like such an ass. Ah, oh, so exciting. Okay, so, um, what should I open first? Ah! First thing, we have Scrawlazine. So, this looks like my kind of box. Oh, I can't look. I don't know what to look. I'm going to look at that first. We're going to look at the product because otherwise the Scrawlazine will just ruin it for me. Um, so, do you know what I'm going to do? I think last time it worked really well having you guys face down. So, we're going to do it that way um, because I don't want to, like ruin you guys' experience, but let me know. Let me know in the comments below. Do you prefer it? The first Scrawler Box video I did, I showed you the products like this, so talking to you guys in the camera, and then the other ones I've done, I've done it like face down so you can see the box as I open it kind of thing. So let me know which version you prefer, and then we can just stick with one version going forward. But I'm gonna move you guys so that you can see down here, and we shall go from there. See you in a second. Okay guys, so let's open this up and you can see why I was so excited. So basically I recognised this tiny little bit of the pad in the bottom because I already have a bigger version of this pad. So um, we're going to go straight in and open the product. So I'm just going to take out these bits and put the box over here. Excuse the cat hair. Unfortunately, when you have cats, it gets everywhere. Okay, so let's open this up. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Oh, <gasps> oh. oh guys, you know what this is, don't you? Okay, so we have our scroller box sticker. The scroller challenge is between the reef, um, which makes sense for the kind of art that's on the front of the scroller zine. Obviously, this is a jellyfish, um, and the artwork from the artist looks kind of like that as well. I'm not going to open this. Ah, I know what this is. I know what this is. Oh, so exciting. Okay. Okay, so we have our ooh, strawberry and fruity tutti fizzy rolls. Yum, yum. We have a white jelly roll pen, which is great. I do have one of these, um, but I think mine's really old now. So it's probably good to have a fresh one. So that's exciting. And then we have something from Derwent. Oh, I know what it is. Ah, oh, yes. Oh my God. So exciting. So we have a Pastel Shades Paint Pan Set. So we have lemon, peach, coral pink, pink flamingo, orchid pink, lavender, uh, cornflower blue, turquoise mint, artichoke, storm grey and silver blue. Looks like it comes with a little brush pen as well. They look a little bit chalky. There's no pigment information. After, I'll have to have a little Google and see if there's any more information I can find out about the individual paints, whether or not there's any pigment information. Oh, cute. Okay, so they come in these little pans of six. They're like little plastic pans. Nice. Very cute. And they're little tiny, oh, we can take them all out. <laughs> tiny little pans of paint. Oh, Damn it, now I've, I've done that and now I don't know how to put them back in. Ugh, idiot. 
oh my god this is just so typically me so i think that's peach and these are all lovely little pastel shades oh so excited so excited do, 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 do. i just can't hide it cute love it there's a little sponge um we have yes oh oh a fancy a fancy water brush i think wait what what's this oh so you take that out oh no way that's cool i think the idea is is that you can keep that and it will you can fill this up with water let's test it i think you can fill this up with water and um oh my god be prepared for mess though uh how should we do this okay so we're gonna fill this up with water and we're gonna see if that little this little doobie what's it holds the water in <sighs> without spurting water everywhere of course Oh, cool. So guys, if you get this, don't bin that because that will hold water. And I've never had a, um, a water brush that's had that before. Sweet. So this is perfect for taking this away with you. Oh, I love it. Oh my gosh, how exciting. Oh God, I've got water everywhere. Because I'm going to And then, oh, cool. So then you screw this on. And then we have, voila. So this is pretty cool because I think what this means is that you can, it stops the water from going through too quickly. Because what I have found with some water brushes, especially the cheaper ones, is that they don't have anything like this to stop the water going through too quickly. Um, so that's awesome. Okay, so let's put that in there. Oh, isn't the case just so cute? Oh, love it. Let's get rid of that. Oh, there's water everywhere, guys. What a mess. What a mess. Right, so we have also got, and this is what like made me scream earlier. This is the um, Aqua Pad by Claire Fontaine. Um, it's their gold line aqua pad A5 with 10 sheets, 100% cellulose, acid free, 300 GSM. I've used this on for quite a few different little things. I love it. And it's so cheap. I got a really big pad of it for I think like £15 and it had hundreds of sheets of paper. I think it was like 70 sheets and it's so good. I couldn't believe it. And even the guy in the shop was like, he was like, yeah, we don't we can't really understand why it's so cheap um so love it oh isn't that just fantastic so excited okay i'm gonna stop fangirling now okay oh okay cool cool so derwent pastel shades pa paint pan set these gouache style pigmented paints are uniquely soft and light formulated pastel shades these gentle colors are perfect for romantic washes and dreamy blends but they can also be layered for a brighter finish without dissolving any previously dried layers okay so this means you can build up thick opaque layers to create a more dramatic bright and matte finish so the possibilities with this palette are endless this compact set contains 12 pastel paint pens a mini water brush five mixing palettes and a sponge to clean your supplies i mean who cleans supplies not me <laughs> kidding i mean i'm not really Wow, that's pretty, isn't it? Featured artist Katie Smith. Uh, working under the Elias Katie Butte Art is a professional artist from Scotland living in Switzerland. Ooh. Very cool. That's amazing. Look at the detail. Wow. Love that. That's going on my little scroller box art wall. So we have the scroller zine as per. Looks super cute. Like these colors are so pretty and perfect for spring. So this is Katie 
and there's some information about her. I love her art. Look at that, that bird there. So nice. And she's a full-time artist. Oh, I'm so jealous. One day that'll be me. So we've got our tips, things to try. Yep, when setting up, we recommend using two pots for water. So we've got one, two. So one is basically you rinse your brush, you sort of clean out your brush in one and then you rinse it in the other. And it basically means that you don't have to um, change your water so often and also stops your colours getting muddied. He's a very soft and light, perfect for you. A light, blah, 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 blah. Do, 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 do. Cool, okay. Right, so seeing as how Katie's done some jellyfish on here, I think we'll do some jellyfish. These are the um, artworks from the 2021 December box. Wow, isn't that great? XX underscore caramel. And the cat, that's fantastic. Cool. Subtle but mighty, the power of pastel. Oh, I love this. This has got to be my favourite box so far. Definitely, definitely my favourite box so far. Um, so let's do... I do like to sketch things out first, I won't lie. It's just my OCD. Of course, I've got graphite everywhere. Ah! So I got this lovely, oh, I'm so sorry guys, I keep whacking you. So I got this really lovely desk from Ikea. Whoop, whoop. Um, <laughs> and you know what? None of my previous art desks have the cats wanted to sort of walk all over and sit on. But for some reason, maybe it's just because it's from Ikea. I don't know. The cats want to blooming well walk on it and sit on it. And I was just like, what? So I have to keep this like dust cloth and... Um, furniture polish around so that I can, you know, keep my bloody work area clean. It's ridiculous. Love them to bits, don't get me wrong, but sometimes you do just think like, why? Why me? So we're going to sketch out the rough shape of a jellyfish. If you guys want to do this along with me, you can. Um, I will be speeding some of it up though, because I think you guys will get a bit bored otherwise. Um, and this is being done completely from my head, which is something I very rarely do. Maybe I should do more. The jellyfishes are nice and easy to sketch, this is the thing. So they have these funny little tentacly things. Do, 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 do. I'm going to do a short one there, and I'm going to do another, maybe another long one here. A longer one like that. So the thing with jellyfish is that they're in the water, right? So you've, you've got to try and remember that. So their body and their little jellyfish tentacles are going to move and be quite fluid, which is why watercolour works really well for them. So this is probably going to go off the page. I haven't really planned this out very well, have I? That's fine, I don't mind. Okay, so jellyfish, jelly jelly, my little jelly weller. Do you know what's wrong with me today? I know what's wrong with me. I had 10 hours of sleep last night and now I'm like buzzing. Even though I've been at work all day. I'm just like full of energy, which is not like me. And I'm gonna go to the gym after this as well. 
for Rosa. Okay, I've got my, my paper towel. I always recommend having a paper towel or a cloth so you can dry off your brush if you need to. Look, there's a bloody cat hair. Ugh. Damn cats. Right, so, oh my gosh, what colour shall we do this lovely little jelly? Um, 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 I just don't know. Kind of like the idea of doing like, maybe, I think we've got to stick with like purpley pinks um, and try these out. So we'll give this a little squeeze, get a bit of water in the brush. And let's activate these paints. Oh, they are very, 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 um, very, very soft. Oh, they're pretty. So I'm going to start with the sort of I guess we'd call it the outline first because I feel like this is the bit that would be the most opaque not the jellyfish are opaque and I've just done exactly what I told you guys not to do I've just dipped my paintbrush in my clean water because I'm a fool So I used to almost exclusively use water brushes for my um, watercolour art. And if, if you are the same, what I will say to you, invest in a good watercolour brush. Um, because honestly, changed my life. Now water brushes are great for like, you know, just like sketches and stuff like that. They're fine. There's nothing wrong with them at all. You know, I enjoy using them. Um, but I did find that when I started using my better brushes, my artwork just got so much better. So my favorite brush is this one here currently. This is the Princeton Heritage brush and it's just beautiful. And you can buy these in a set with some smaller brushes and also this large wash brush and it's not too expensive so i'd highly recommend those brushes um oh uh, no a pussycat see this is what i mean like whoa <laughs> i'm trying to do stuff beetle oh god right sit on my lap if you have to be anywhere come on no look because you're going to stand on the paint and that's just not a vibe come on i'm sorry if these videos are kind of chaotic guys but i feel like when you have animals like life just is a little, ah! life is a little bit chaotic. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> She's just like stuck her claws in. Uh... <clears throat> Please don't Edie, it does actually hurt. I know you think you're being affectionate, but it's quite painful. I'm just going to rinse that brush off a little bit and we're going to drag the paint further up. So this uh, paper is just the best. Like it's so good for the price. Um, I, I can't rate it enough. Obviously like it's never, it's not, it's not Archers, you know, it's never going to be your Archers or your Bockenford, um, but it is really, really good for the price and I have a, another block of watercolour paper that I've done swatches on before that I just don't like um, whereas this paper honestly it's just the bomb I'm probably gonna have to bleep that out aren't I it's amazing Oh, isn't that pretty? Do you know what? I should have done a swatch. That probably would have been better. What a dummy. Guys, I'm such an idiot. I'll do a swatch afterwards. I was just so excited to start playing, you know? So 
I will probably be layering these up quite a bit um, to create a more vibrant look for some of the parts. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe if I move this closer, I won't keep missing it. Look, there's that cat hair. <laughs> oh gosh, honestly, they never used to be like this. It used to be the cats would just like jump on my lap. They wouldn't go on the table at all. I don't know what it is, but they seem to really, really love this Ikea table. It's bizarre and kind of irritating. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love my cats, but um, please, please don't stand on my artwork because you'll get your muddy paws everywhere. Oh, look at that blue. So pretty. So I'm just creating a kind of like really pretty graduated effect with the cornflower blue and the turquoise. Um, I'm gonna drag that down a bit more. We're gonna see what we can do. And this is why I love water-based mediums like this. Um, so this is strictly, this isn't really watercolor. Certainly they don't mark it as watercolor. They're marketing it as like a kind of, almost like a gouache. But it's not, it's not even gouache really. I don't know what, what they're, it's more like watercolour, I think. But if you guys have any ideas, pop them in the comments below. So pretty! So much prettiness. That's too much water on there. Let's go a little bit further down here. my dog itching in the background. So I often feel like I have more control over the water when I'm using a normal brush as opposed to a, a water brush, personally. I don't know if anyone else has found that, but I find that sometimes water brushes, they can kind of go a little bit AWOL. Cute! Oh, this is so much fun. So you can see that the paper is just starting to warp that little bit. Um, I've added quite a bit of water onto it but this will dry and I can easily flatten the paper as well. If you guys want a tutorial on how to flatten the paper then let me know because I can film that for you. Love this cornflower blue, stunning. And what colour? I'm wondering what this peach is like. Do you know, I really should have done some um, kind of swatches. I wonder if we could just bring in a little bit of this peach colour. Yes. Look how cute this bit is. I just think it's adorable. I love this. Um. So we have some, they have this lovely sort of light blue turquoise colour that I've not used yet so let's get this bad boy out here so pretty
Okay, so we're going to need to wait for that to dry because um, there's a lot of water on there and because I want to do more layers, it needs to dry. So, whoopsie. Oh, we shouldn't have done this. That was very silly, wasn't it? So I'm just going to put that over there just to dry up a little bit. So whilst that's drying, what I'm going to do is I'm going to swatch these um, colours because I think that's going to give you a much better idea of what we got in this little set today. So the first one that we have is Lemon. Ooh, she's pretty. Really load it up. And then what we're gonna do, rinse the brush, dab, and just drag the color out. See if we can really get some of those lovely watercolor effects. Yes, I like that. Hopefully you guys can see that on there because it is quite a pale color. We then got peach. Pretty, pretty peach. Ooh, coral pink. Let's see what this is like. Maybe I could use this on a jellyfish. Oh yeah. Pretty. And then the next one is this rather stunning. Pink flamingo. Oh my god, I thought this was red. Why did I think this was red? This can totally go on the jellyfish. Wow. That's gorgeous. So all these colours I think work really well together. I think this was a great choice um, for scroller box, especially coming out of this miserable, disgusting British weather that we have at the minute. We're in February, it is just ugh. We've had Storm Eunice, we've had Storm something else. And I'm just done with the weather, you know? So getting this lovely, bright, pretty set with all these pastel spring colours is just... Oh, it's a godsend. So this is the chalk pink. Oh, sorry, orchid pink, not chalk pink. Orchid pink. We've already seen this. We've got the lovely cornflower blue. Blue's absolutely stunning. I just, it's beautiful. Gorgeous. Mint, which is the really pretty mint green. Oh, look at that. So then we have these last three colours, which is Artichoke, Storm Grey and Silver Blue, which I am very excited to try because I've not tried these at all. So we are going to do these three. Oh, that's pretty. next. And then silver blue. Mm. 
Okay, so there's your swatches. Really happy with all of those. I think they're really, really pretty. I think they've swatched pretty well. Um, they're definitely not watercolors. Um, they're really unique. They're, they are kind of, I mean, they're, they're almost, it's hard to explain, to be honest with you. Um, they're kind of, kind of a mixture of watercolour and gouache, I guess. So let's look back at the jelly jelly and see how that's doing. Ah, little jellyfish, still a bit damp there. Okay, so now we know that that lovely, lovely pink flamingo is this lovely, pretty, bright pink. We're gonna add some of it in there. I almost thought it was gonna to be too red to add into this, but actually I think it'll be okay. As long as we do it the right way, which I'm not doing right now. <laughs> Also want to make it look as though there are some tentacles behind. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just adding a little bit of um, flex of blue. I'm going to see if I can remove this little bit of orange here by scrubbing it and then actually we'll use the sponge. There we go. Another little scrub, another little sponge, nearly gone. So that's a great thing. So this means that they aren't too staining. Let's get a lot of pink paint on here. So I'm basically loading the paint up with a lot of water and then flicking it. And you can do this in different ways. Different brushes will give you different sizes of Splodges. And the more paint you have loaded, the more you'll get. And you can flick it like this, especially with a water brush. some bigger splodges. Cool. Okay, so I'm super happy with that scroll box. Personally, I think it's the best one yet that I've had. Obviously, I've not had them from the beginning. Um, but I'm so happy that it was very, very different to any of the other scroller boxes that we've had so far. Um, it had paint and it had a great sketch pad. I have obviously already got the sketch pad, but it's such a good one that I'm like, yes, I've got more. Um, I really enjoyed using these paints. I think the colors are stunning. They're really sort of timed nicely. So a great timing for spring. We've got these beautiful pastel colors. Um, and then the piece that I did is still wet, but I'll just put it over there. I mean, you know, who cares? It's gonna look interesting because it's a jellyfish. So that is the um, piece that I did. Whoopsie, but we've got some water coming down there. That's a bit too far, matey. There we go. Um, 
So, really enjoyed it. I had great fun with that. It was just fun and exciting and different. So I, yeah, I can't recommend it more, really. These paints are great fun to use. I love the little box that it comes in. It comes with a water brush so you can take it away with you. And it's got this little stopper in so you can literally load your pen up or your water brush with water and off you go. It's not gonna leak anywhere. So I'm super happy with that. Um, I don't know what you guys thought about it. Let me know in the comments below. I'd be really interested to see what you think about it. And also as for that tip that I said about using the two um, pots of water, you can quite clearly see these, this is the one that I used first. So this, you don't your brush into this one first and then you rinse it off into the clear one. So they've lasted far longer than if you just had one pot of water and you were continuously reusing that one pot of water so you'd have to keep on refilling it up so yeah really really happy with that um let me know what you thought in the comments below did you like my little jellyfish that i painted what would you have painted if you'd have had this um scroller box and what do you think might be in the next one for march i don't know it'll be interesting to see but i'm so so happy with this one it's amazing so guys, that's it for me today. If you are not already subscribed, I would absolutely love it if you hit that subscribe button and come and join me on my little journey. There's gonna be more Scrawler Box videos. There's gonna be some Daniel Smith swatching videos. We've got some shrink, shrinker, shrinker, uh, swat, a shrinker swatching videos to come. We've got some swing, We've got some sminker swatching, schmink, schmink, schmink. We've got some more swatching videos to come because I can't pronounce shrink, schminker, schminker. What's wrong with me? We've got some schminker swatching videos to come, which is their new super granulating uh, watercolors. So I'm really excited for those. And we've got some tutorials and also some painting time lapses to come as well. So please do come along for the journey and I shall see you next time.